So anyways, hi, I wanted you to come back and be a part of our great story here about Rush and some of the covers that we did. Now you'll notice when we did the exit stage left cover, we had a, a girl on the front named Paula. Now Paula was also on the Permanent Waves album cover. And I must say too, back then album art was great. And Rush were the first to really embrace it. And get a guy like Huey Symes to work on all those covers. And he did like a great job from like Caress of Steel on. <coughs> now I do believe he should have won a Juno for every one of his covers. But <laughs> hey, that's the way politics goes. But when we did the exit stage left, we had to bring some characters back from all the albums so that they could be a part of that particular anthology, which was a live album that uh, we actually shot the cover in Buffalo. And then we faded in, was the Winter Garden in Toronto, where we actually shot the first round. Uh -huh. But Paula, who had become a very expensive model at that point, and she was very famous, was in Paris. So we had to use a cardboard cutout for the first shot. It didn't work. The boys just said, no, it doesn't get look. Paula. Mm -hmm. So a few months later, we reshot it, and Exit Stage Left actually got flipped around. We were supposed to be on the front, then I was on the back. But it turned out to be another terrific, terrific cover.